Hello, everybody. This is John Evans, and you're watching Mid Mud Money. Hello, everybody. This is John Evans, and you're watching Mid Mud Money. Hello, everybody. This is John Evans, and you're watching Mid Mud Money, the show that teaches you how to buy and sell vintage items for a profit. I am a self-proclaimed thrift store expert, and I'm also a buyer and seller of vintage and mid-century items. Today, I'd like to show you a haul that I found uh, from a cluster of thrift stores about two hours south of Pittsburgh. I won't say the name of the town because one of these thrift stores is my absolute honey hole, a secret that I'm taking to my grave. But in the meantime, I'd like to show you what I found in my latest haul. So let's get going and look at the first item. Where's the first item? Oh, man. Look, would you look at this idiot. This freaking idiot right here. This this yarn dog sitting in a flower pot. What's his deal? You know? But I know he's cute, and he's made out of yarn. I paid $2.49 for this, and because of his adorable nature, I'm going to sell this a uh, piece for 14 bucks. Make a quick 12 on the adorable yarn dog. Next item, these two these two guys, candlestick holders. Uh cool design, excellent like 60s design. I paid $2 each for these, which is a little bit of an overpay, uh being that they're not marked, they don't say who made them, but they've got a great look to them and it fits in the aesthetic that I sell. And uh, I think I'm going to probably get about 20 bucks for the pair of the 60s candle holders. Next thing I found, pretty cool item. This guy. This is a, um, it's a pillowcase, believe it or not. Hand-painted, Asian-inspired pillowcase. And this has like a satin finish. Definitely hand painted. I looked these up. They sell uh, for anywhere 15 to 20 bucks online on eBay. So this one's in really nice shape. So I, I think I'm going to get 18 to 20 dollars for this weird, uh, what do they call that? Black, black velvet pillowcase. Yeah, whatever, dude. Someone's going to buy it. Um, next item is this this beautiful ice bucket. Very 80s, early 80s, I would say. It's got this cool handle for this. Uh, it's in real good shape. No cracks, no chip. Made by a company called Crayon. C-R-A-Y-O-N-N-E. Crayon. Never heard of it. Um, so therefore, I don't think it's worth a whole lot. But I think I can get $16 for this pretty easily, which will get me a profit of about 14, 14 bones. This is a cool item. This next thing I found, this is a pair of salt and pepper shakers, quarter each, uh, plastic, but not just any pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are made by Guzzini, which is a very collectible uh, brand name. Um, these Guzzini uh, salt and pepper shakers, Guzzini is a company in Italy in the 60s and 70s. They made a lot of cool space age uh designs with kitchen housewares canisters things like that but very desirable italian company and if you find one with the label still on the foil you always look for that nice foil label um these i will put on ebay my guess is that they will go for about 20 bucks i paid 50 cents for the pair so that is a 19 dollar and 50 cent profit to this guy um, next thing I found, cool thing. This is definitely the space age, or uh, well, mid-century modern. Uh, these wall sconces, wall sconces. Uh, cool, cool design, awesome looking. Um, I think these match a uh, one of those starburst clocks that go for like two hundred and. $300. This would have gone on either side of one of those, I think. Uh, now I paid $5 for the pair, and I think these will easily get me $20. Bucks. Um, 
either on eBay or in my booth at the antique mall. But they're real nice. Everything's uh, everything's there. Nothing's bent. Nothing's missing. So twenty bucks on the cool wall sconces. Uh, next item, kind of a cool item, also goes with the 1960s. This is a uh, coffee pot. Totally working condition, cord in there. The inside looks really nice, and that's important because these are hard to sell. The only way they're not hard to sell is if they have the cool design on the front, like a daisy or mushrooms or something. So this one was 3 bucks, and it's an immaculate shape, so you could use this. Um, or you could just have it on your counter for, for looks, but this was three. I'm going to sell this for $24, uh, in my booth at the antique mall. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I'm down to about five items left. And this next one's really cool. This, does anybody know what this is? Can anyone tell me? Anyone tell me? This is a bamboo basket, like a fruit basket. Um, you, very rarely see these. These don't come up. They're old. They're from the 60s. Um, this one was $2.99 at the Goodwill. Uh, I am going to ask. I, I did a little bit of research on this. They go for about $30 to $35 and because they just don't come up for sale very often. They're kind of rare. So I'm going to sell this one for between $30 and $35. And again, I'm going to put it on eBay to let the market decide what's... Uh, what these things are worth. Um, next thing, also from the 1960s, this Lazy Susan. It's beautiful. It's made of teak. It says uh, handmade teak, uh, handmade in Thailand. Uh, and this was $3.50, which is a steal because um, I know for a fact, having sold a few, these go for about $25 to $30. Because it is teak, it is mid-century modern, and it is very cool. And um, I'm going to sell this for about 30 bucks American. I paid $3.50, so that's about $26.50 in profit. Uh, weirdly, at a different thrift store, same town, I found this Lazy Susan, which I like much more because I'm a more plastic guy than a wood guy. Uh, I'm a kid from the 70s, so I love all this stuff that reminds me of the 70s. Anything avocado green. This might have even been late 60s, but there's no mark on it, although a lot of this stuff came from Japan. So this was five bucks. I'm going to sell this for 30 or possibly $35. Beautiful avocado Lazy Susan. Very desirable, especially in that color. And we got two, two things left. Now, one of them I, I laugh at because it is the most, is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever found. And I should preface this by saying it is not mid-century modern, but it is vintage and it is from the 1980s. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at that. It is a clock with eight stallions uh, carrying what appears to be Cinderella's carriage. And uh, it's great. it's got these reflective dots around the clock, some weird flowers in there, but it's just, I mean, I can't decide if it's cool or if it's the most obnoxious thing I've ever seen. I had to buy it for $5 because I figured someone, because of the size, because of the weirdness, Someone will buy this ironically, I feel. And uh, someone might buy it unironically. And I would like to meet that person um, because this is a weird thing to have in your home. But it was five bucks. I'm going to try to get $25 for it. It's a pretty big piece. It's about two and a half feet across. So also in the comment section, please, is this awesome or the most hideous thing you've ever seen? It can't, it either or, it can't, so it's either the, it's the most hideous thing of all time, or it is totally cool. Please comment, I'm taking a poll on this, I'd like to know your thoughts here on MidMod Money, in the comment section. All right, we're down to our last item, I can't believe it, we've made it all the way through the video, and 
This is the final thing that I found. This pagoda lamp. Bam! Look at that. This thing lights up. It's got a cool top that comes off. Right? Uh, this is ceramic. It was made by a company car called Arnell's. It's actually marked on the bottom uh, Arnell, 1974. So this lamp is almost 50 years old. And as you can see on the front, I paid $5. Can you see that? I paid five bucks for this and uh, it works. And uh, I think I can get 30 to 35 bucks for that $5 investment. So uh, there was no huge, amazing finds, but there was a lot of small, steady finds. I spent $41.48 total, a little bit over 41 bucks. I am going to sell this haul in its entirety via eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I'm going to sell it for 272 bucks total out the door. So a nice profit, a great trip. Um, again, if you're uh, wondering how to buy and sell vintage, here's what you do. I'm going to tell you right now, it's this simple. You like and subscribe to my videos every week. I will be showing you what I'm finding. I will be sharing with you my knowledge about various collectibles, how they sell, how they don't sell. Um, so please, by all means, like and subscribe mash that like button, mash the subscribe button. Uh, you've been watching Mid Mod Money with John Evans, and I want you to keep it vintage.